Hello, everyone. My name is Shandor Dargo, and after nine and a half years, I changed jobs last year. So I would like to share a couple of ideas with you. Put your CV together. It might seem obvious. Seven seconds. You have seven seconds to convince your recruiter. They receive so many applications that they don't have more time to read your CV. So it's very important that the most important details stand out of your CV immediately. And for that, well, you have to invest the necessary time and maybe even money. I didn't pay for someone to write my CV, but I did buy a book about uh, how to write a CV and I spent a lot of time reading it. Uh, I can share some resources afterwards. So it's very important that you make it easy to read your, uh, your CV, but still it has to tell a story, like how you became the, the person who you are. But at the same time, you have to keep it short. If it's longer than two pages, even if you have decades of experience, just cut it because nobody will read it. Tip number two, research your target companies. You have to know your dream. Uh, you have to know what's your dream job. You have to define the characteristics of your dream job. For example, for me, well, I wanted to work with C++. I wanted to work from home, no office. And, uh, well, I wanted to make good money. So based on that, I did a thorough market research. I used many different uh, sources. You cannot really just trust one or two. And, uh, well, then I, I knew who I should target. But you also have to think about the long term, because maybe you are not ready for your dream. Still, you might want to do the interview because uh, you want to build a connection especially if those are like uh, smaller companies where uh, people don't uh, change so often. So doing the, the interview can help you to figure out what you still lack and you can build up a plan based on that. And don't forget to ask about the re-interview process because maybe they will tell you, okay, uh, we like you, but you still need this and that. Please come back next year. And if they tell you that, well, document it. Your memory is volatile. You will not, uh, you will not remember. You have to practice consistently, even if you are a senior developer. Because, well, I guess we all know this name. The technical interview and the actual job, usually they are quite, uh, quite different. And uh, most senior engineers, I think, uh, they, we, need to, we need to practice. And don't be ashamed of that. Because, well, you know, the interview and the job, they are two different things. You have to study the interview processes and make a plan and then try to stick to it. Even if you like skip a few days, it doesn't matter, just go back to it. Don't say that, well, okay, I ruined it. No, uh, continue to, to practice. And this is, I think, something very difficult, but very important uh, on a human level. Don't take rejection personal, because it will happen. It's completely normal. No matter who you are, you will get rejections. Try to get feedback from uh, the interviewer and uh, act on it if necessary. And uh, don't let it ruin your, uh, your confidence. That's probably the most important thing that, uh, that I can say. Because it's not about you. It's probably about what you offer at the moment. And, well, if it's personal, because it might happen that uh, it's actually personal, then the sooner you know it is, it's the better, because probably you don't want to work there if, uh, if it's personal. One last thing. You need a referral. No matter what, you need a referral. I uh, sent out uh, quite a few applications. I think I had uh, quite a good CV, but uh, I uh, rarely got responses unless I had a referral. But here's the catch. A fake referral is also a referral. It doesn't have to be real. Use your network, use LinkedIn, use other tools. Uh, ask people to give you a referral. <laughs> and, well, there are some available sites I, I will share. It's really useful. The next day, I got calls almost all the time. So, put your CV together, research your targets, think about the long term, practice consistently, 
accept rejection, and get a referral. Thank you. <laughs>